today I'm here with my sister Rose. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> and um, I wanted to use some cheap supplies that I got at Target and at Michael's. And we're each gonna use them in whatever way we feel like it. So, ready? Mm -hmm. First is these little canvases. I was thinking so we could cute. use those as our substrate. I love those. Um, so all this stuff is Target. So then I got these like glittery paints from Target Ooh, that I think will be favorite. fun. I got this black paint there because I thought it would look cool on top of black, but we can do whatever we want. Um, this is just tape, like if you want like a design or something in your background. Um, this, I love this. So this is like supposed to be teacher's highlighter tape and it's, it's see-through. So that's the stuff that I used on this the windows. one. So this, it has had such a cool effect, like even when it's dark. The, right here. Yeah, those places look like it's lit up. I, I love it, so. That's so cool. Um, and then these are some things from Michael's. This was like a really inexpensive pack of stencils that we can use for whatever. Um, this was in the clearance aisle. I think it was like 50 cents. It has like numbers and letters. And then some tissue paper. If we want to do the I tissue love paper that. trick. Yeah, I have no clue what I'm gonna do. All right, let's do this. Okay, so Rose and I are each getting started on our canvas. And Rose, did you have any idea what you were doing at this point? Absolutely none. And I was feeling the pressure of you as a pro next to me the whole time. Well, don't feel bad for me because I'm gonna just have a completely blank canvas for about half of the video, so. <laughs> so what I'm doing during this time is Usually when I do art, I'm inspired by a quote or a Bible verse, so I'm writing down the scripture passage that I wanted to base my painting that I was making up on the spot on. That's so cool though. I love how that looked when you were like writing that over there. I'm gessoing my canvas and then I regretted it because I had to wait for it to dry and I didn't really wait long enough, but I had an idea of what I wanted to do. I was inspired by the... Um, tissue paper yeah so I started cutting out some of the butterflies that I liked and I actually ended up using one of those butterflies um, the one on the top left is kind of my like inspiration for what I was gonna do and I'm mixing black acrylic paint and then this like silver glitter paint together we cut out me struggling with the bottle for eight minutes <laughs> but um so I mixed it together and then painted it over once again no idea what I was doing but I just liked the way it looked together it was really fun watching you to do this part actually I was picturing like a like I wanted the background to be darkness like space or something I think that's just what it looks like like a galaxy or stars in the sky yeah. or something so now I'm using on the right matte medium with my butterflies and um, this tissue paper was really inexpensive and I was really excited about it but I didn't know that this was a thing but it didn't work as well it was like ripping yeah and so I ended up having trouble with the tissue paper but I still loved the way that it turned out in the end so mine is doing nothing because I had no idea what I was doing feral scribbling art beautifully next <laughs> to me and then I taught Farrell the hack of blow drying because she's a real artist and waits for things to dry, but I'm impatient. <laughs> so I just blew dry both of our um, pieces because we wanted it to dry faster. This was a life changer for me because I was like literally feeling the canvas like, yep, still wet and still coloring <laughs> on it because I couldn't wait. So, And I'm using some pastels here that um, I just got. And these are also fairly inexpensive because some of these can be like a lot of money for mm -hmm. a set and so they're they're a little bit chalky but you can build up the pigment and I had so much fun I was trying to use the colors of that butterfly I liked to start just filling in all the edges around my butterfly up yeah. oh, you're back what are you doing I just wrote out of the Bible verse I really liked the line that said that 
you can dwell in hope and I still had no idea what I was doing so I hoped like pulling out the key phrase would spark my imagination a little bit so I wrote it like 80 times on there and in my brain I'm trying to like not look at Farrell's beautiful piece next to me. Oh you're nice. <laughs> well I also feel like silver is your color so yeah. I I like that you would that. So you're on your third layer. Yes. So this is when I wanted to start doodling on top of this and I'm actually all the shapes and stuff I make were on that butterfly. Like it had little mm. little scallops and little, um, I don't know, different embellishments on it that I kind of copy like all over as I draw. And I struggled a little bit with my pens and it wasn't until I pulled out my Sharpies that I found something that could a yeah. look there's little hands over in the right side <laughs> like adjusting I think that was when my daughter was begging to join us yeah and so I decided I found this blue paper that I really liked in Farrell's art bin and so I just started um, doing the matte medium is that what it is called yes um, to kind of collage all of it together and I was still just making it up as I went along but I was just going with what I thought looked cool to me this is beautiful, Rose. I love this, like watching you piece it all together and stuff was, was really cool. I love it. Yeah, and I like your detailing on your it, on your piece. It was coming together. Like I could tell you knew what you were doing. You're totally right. Like this was the point where I was like, started having fun. Yeah. It wasn't, it was no longer a question of what am I doing? It was like, this is really fun. I just wanna doodle all over this now. And so I, this is when I kind of got in that flow. That yeah, I feel the same way because I was like, what am I doing? What am I doing? And then this was fun because I liked just ripping the paper and putting it where yes. I wanted it to it's go. It's the like tactile part of mixed media where you can like touch it and yeah. rip it and glue it. And... Yeah. So yeah, that's just what I'm doing for a while. and they're like very bold and going right on it and um, I'm just doing the simplest things but it was so much fun to to do something and then whenever I would do something like dots or a doodle that I liked I do it again because you can repeat mm -hmm. when you like stumble upon something that you like how it looks you can do it a couple of times and I noticed in my uh, decoupage situation I had going on that it kind of looked like vortexy, um, like it was spiraling in the middle. So I just used clear tissue paper to kind of create bigger circles and then smaller ones to kind of create like more of that vortex, but then I ended up not liking how it looked. So I'm just trying to figure out what to do here. Meanwhile, I'm still doodling over there, having fun. Um, I also really liked drawing on the sides, um, which I do for a little while too. Yeah, I liked the white detailing that you added too. So yeah, here I decide I find another color that I really like, which I think was old paper that you had painted probably for another project. Um, and so I wanted to create a smaller spiral situation in the middle. So I got this color that kind of matched the vibe of the other one and tried my best to create another little vortex is the word I'm deciding I'm using for this. I like it. I understand. And I picked up one of the stencils um, and I pictured a sun. So I kind of flipped the canvas around and picked out my favorite part and um, used the stencil to make a sun. And then mm. I've been wanting to try this um, where you basically kind of abstract decorate the whole thing and then um, cover up part of it and it actually just makes like the best parts of it mm. pop so here I'm putting 
gesso and this was a very exciting moment for me because it all was working like you can still see yeah. through it a little bit and then it was picking up some of the colors so it doesn't even end up being totally white it has like some of those bright colors like bleeding through and um, I was really excited that this worked so well. I know, I loved that. I thought that was such a cool concept. And it's like a moment of bravery when you're like, I'm gonna paint over I know. what I just did. Especially those bright colors. It really exaggerates it, which I really like. So yeah, now I'm going in with a lighter color that was also old painted paper that Farrell had um, that I'm using to create an even smaller vortex inside the medium vortex. And I was kind of getting inspiration from my Bible passage about the idea of God being at your right hand and dwelling with him, which I think is a really intimate term. So I was starting to picture just like me in the middle of all of this, all of this decoupage and everything with God and so I was trying to decide am I going to be alone in the middle is he going to be with me but I really wanted to portray the safety and intimacy of the verse that I was working out of that's amazing I absolutely love that I was more on um, thinking about kind of just joy and how I've never been someone who likes pink and glitter and sparkles and lately that's been in all of my art and so I feel like that's the place God's been taking me lately is mm -hmm. like I'm allowed to enjoy like a little kid doing art and making it as pretty as I want and I can be proud of that. Yeah, that's really cool. I was trying to decide how I wanted to portray the middle and I wanted it to be beautiful and show that there was smallness inside of all the kind of chaos around um, but I didn't know how to portray it so that it didn't clash with the rest of the piece so I found the, this other little like faded dot pattern that I used and I glued that on top of a goldish piece um, and then I put that with the matte medium in the middle um, to kind of show myself as a small dot in the middle of all of it. So I tried to frame it with other colors. And then here I come in with um, the pastels to try to accentuate the little dot in the middle. And I really wanted to incorporate that cool highlighter tape so I took a little piece and put it in the bottom right and revealed my surprise which is it's about my sister who is my sunshine. Oh I love you. I love you too. Thank you so much for doing this with me. No it's so fun to do art together especially because one thing Farrell and I always talk about is that there's no competition in our relationship. We genuinely cheer each other on and love each other so Getting to see each other's final products was awesome because we genuinely love each other. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm.